brothers and sisters, generals, current subscriber, new subscriber, anybody that view, we are back with another father and son discussion. And this will be a part two. And uh, before I get started and let my son get on here, Lord Lamont, EBS cares, like we always say. And uh, before I get started, I want to, um, you know, I always got to get some encouraging words, you know, may that great divine come in all our lives. Those who listen, those who ride along with the brother. May that great divine come in our lives and protect us, keep us prospering. That's family, brother or sister, younger or older. And we are back with another father and son yeah, yeah, discussion. Yeah. We have Lord Lamont, up, as you just heard, and uh, EBS Cares, as I said, myself. And this is a part two of Perseverance and Comedy. And we also, we, we're going to have a list of some females. It's mostly, we wanted to bring up mostly females. My son, that was my son's idea, actually. <laughs> And uh, we are going to have some brothers, too, some other comedians. We have a bigger list because the last time we did this, we didn't we went we was kind of rushing, like he said, and we didn't get to speak on a lot of uh, comedians and uh, content creators, too. So I'm going to let Lord Lamont speak a little bit. He said he had a list, so I'm going to let him go through his list. And I got a list because we got a whole lot of people so that we want to name. I, I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. So I'm going to welcome in Lord Lamont, brothers and sisters father and son discussion so what, what's what's the first one on your list uh first female on my list probably whoopi goldberg whoopi goldberg yeah she is classic a class act and i don't know she's pretty wholesome too oh uh, oh yeah I, i've always like like i can remember even being like young uh like <laughs> like seven or eight or something and she was on that show like where it was like a bunch of people in a like a square <laughs> or a oh, cube and it was like oh, three fucking I forgot what, stories, Hollywood Squares I think yeah that's an old flick but that's an old uh, show yeah that shit was fire though and I remember her being on it dude mm. I swear to god Hollywood Squares well, this is when she was younger of course Right. Yeah, and okay. I, I just, yeah. I always, like, it's like, damn, I just felt, like, her energy and, like, this, this like, feeling of warmth and, like, mm. love. Mm. You know, I could tell she was a great person, like, a good person. Like, right, right. Good feelings mm. and shit. She cool. <laughs> well, okay, we got Whoopi Goldberg and who else on your list? I got some here, too. Uh, we, man, we talked about Simone. Amy, Amy Poehler. I love yep. Amy Poehler. Yep, it's, it's, she's Caucasian, right? Amy Poehler is she Caucasian? Yeah, not that yeah, it matters. We yeah, just talking about the white. art. She's We're not talking white. about. We just talking about the art, brothers and sisters. That's all. Nothing, you know. Yeah, she's she's hilarious. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, any... she did like Parks and Recreation, which was hilarious. A lot of fucking just wildly. Hilarious, mm. like jokes and <laughs> scenes and shit. Mm. Like I, I don't know. I was, I was laughing my, my oh. ass off. Uh. Okay. Well, we we spoke on anyone else you got? Yeah. Uh, um. Hmm. Rose. <laughs> well, <laughs> Roseanne. But before, oh. before she said the racist shit though. Oh, uh, you know. Um, what, what racist stuff did she say? I don't I, even know. Not that I want to bring it up. I just what don't remember. Exactly she said, I, uh, cause like, I don't know. It's, it just seems a bit ridiculous. Mm, well, I guess it ain't worth bringing up. Well. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, damn. So, I mean, but I wonder if it was like, they could have like stretched it out. Like maybe I should, maybe we should actually look into what uh, mm. we'll she put actually said. Cause you know. I mean, mm. I don't want to be. Well, we had to put a question mark on old Roseanne. Well, you know the industry kind of once it once that she started getting entangled with that industry, it like stuff just started kind of coming down for her a little bit because she they had to show. She was in it for a long time. Too. When once didn't they continue to show on without her, and it was just Dan and the kids. I think they did try to or something, but I remember seeing like more recently, like an interview. She was interviewing somebody. I think it didn't Theo work Vaughn out or some shit because it's Theo Vaughn was interviewing her. Or something. Oh, okay. And. She was hilarious, dude. And I I noticed they tr they really tried to push that show, and I the the new ones it didn't look right. It didn't. Dan wasn't the same, cause it just ain't like the big Dan. You know what I mean? I know he had to go through health issues and lose lose weight and stuff, 
but it just wasn't yeah. the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Big Dan, the old Roseanne man. You you tell me one for everybody loved the old Roseanne show. Classic. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Uh, well, why you? Let me see. Why you thumb? Go ahead. You got some. Got somebody else? Tiffany Haddish. Oh. oh. Yeah. Bro, she's super funny. But you, you know, I always got to bring up the old character. And another, we're going to talk about perseverance too, y'all. Remember, this is part two, perseverance and a little bit of comedy because it, it takes some perseverance to be a, a comedian too, especially a controversial comedian. But Tiffany Haddish, just my opinion, she got a little question mark on her too because she's kind of been tainted by the industry also. She's one of them, she has a question mark on her. That's just my opinion though. Cause I, I'm on I think observer. she's hilarious, but I've never. Oh, I, I ain't saying she ain't funny. I haven't gone down like the any like rabbit holes on. Right. See, things. and that's <laughs> that's and I, I made a podcast this morning. What was the name of that podcast? Divine downloads are pivotal in our lives. Pay attention to them. That was the title. And I, what I said in that podcast, some things I do know. I wish I didn't. That's what Dave Chappelle said. Sometimes <laughs> we connect the dots. Sometimes we don't want to. Right. Yeah, because I was speaking on Shaka Zulu. I, I researched some stuff on him that was uh disturbing. Now we all know what he did, right? He fought for the you know, for the humanity of his people and all that. Yeah. But it was also some very disturbing things he did to women that a lot of people don't uh, know or talk about. But Right. Women didn't get a lot of rights until you know women and didn't get rights at how all he treated women suffrage. And that was a like, real man know. wouldn't accept what he did to women. And Damn. it's deep. I'll show you all. I don't want to say it on here. Because I actually said, and I got the names on here, I said that I would. The people I would like to speak on about that, that I know would have some real good insight, would be Lance Skurve, Brother Kwaku, and Professor Griff. I know they would give me them three right there. I call them my three wise men. <laughs> I would get some good answers from them. Because I know they would come with an honest answer. Because, you know, I spoke on that. We got to stop putting people on pedestals because they in a certain status you know what I mean right yeah everybody's just people and it broke my heart we're all just people cause I used to be all that Shaka Zulu Shaka Zulu spirit Shaka Zulu spirit and I looked a little deeper and to the other half I was like mm, man oh wow he what he how he treated women wasn't good but you know we'll say that for another podcast and like I say I, I would like to speak to somebody that I had to get another opinion on that somebody who know a little more about you know, Shaka Zulu and that culture and that time and stuff. Because I ain't one of them. As soon as I see something, I'm putting it on the thumbnail in the back. Oh, such and such and such. No, no. Because that's that impulse shit. But anyway, let's get back to comedy. And see, if you got don't you got any more? Any more females? Yeah, yeah. Wanda Sykes. Oh, yeah. yeah. You she's spoke on Wanda Sykes. She's and she's got like 17 Emmys. Her voice is iconic. Yeah, yeah. And she is funny. Yeah, she's she's great. She like paved the way for a lot of females. Mm. I'ma name I'ma name a few, but I'ma name some uh my uncle Terry in my family. I got funny people in my family. I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget that. Uncle Terry, salute. Uh my my cousin, he been Love sending me funny Terry. stuff. Yep. Very funny people in my family. Uh two, my granddad and Uncle Charlie. They're very funny. Granddad is the one used to be at the table making everybody laugh at Thanksgiving. I always got to bring that up. And you know, that's where I get my goofy side sometimes, like me falling up the steps earlier. <laughs> yep. You thought, I was, you thought I was drunk, Lord Lamont, when I fell up the steps? Yeah, yeah. You been drinking too much White Claw, man? What? I just woke up. Yeah, but I just wanted to mention that part that uh, suit to my family, very comedic people in my family. That's where I get my comedy side. And let me see. I'm, I'm going to run down. I'm going to still give you a chance to read your list, too. I'm just going to kind of run down some of the names on my list also. And we got Monique, Simone. Some of these we might have spoke on already. Candice. Candice is the girl. It's this dude named Desi Banks. They have a platform on YouTube. And he does comedy skits. And this girl named Candice, she, uh, she was on there. And that's how she became popular. She's very funny. Uh, she, I wish I could show you a picture of her. Anyway, her name's Candace, and she's comedian and beautiful. Adele Gibbons, that's the one I was talking about, the girl on uh, Def Comedy Jam. Such a fucking lady. Remember I mentioned that on the last podcast, yeah. Lord Lamont? That's yeah. her name, Adele Gibbons. Ah, uh, nice. Which is very, and she was in Queens of, 
comedy. She was one of the queens of comedy, if I'm not mistaken, I think. No shit. That's it was Simone, Adele Givens, Monique. Who else was it? It was four of them. Wasn't it four of them? It was Monique, Simone, Adele Givens. I don't know who the fourth one was. I'm about to look it up. Can you look it up while you're over there? Yeah, yeah. See who the four queens of comedy was, and I keep going. All right, Adele Givens, uh, Gina Shire. I think I've been saying her name wrong, which we was just watching a minute ago. She talked like this, and oh, I hate is, fucking here it is, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Laura Hayes. Oh, okay. I don't know who that is. That was the fourth one. Adele Givens, some more, and Monique. Laura Hayes. And Laura Hayes. Hmm. I, I probably know. I don't know by name, but I probably know her face. Well, I got Gina Sh- Yashir, which I think I've been saying wrong. You ever heard of Leslie Jones? That big yeah, tall black lady? Yeah, I was going to mention her. She <laughs> I happened a- to see her a couple days ago. She's funny. Yeah. Yeah, dude. She's great. And she's she- in a couple of fucking movies. Yep, she dude. sure is. Yep, she sure is. Uh, she, Very funny. She, yeah, she's wow, dude. She's yeah. super smart. And, and, and the, <laughs> right. Oh my god. And my one of my favorite specials she said. She said, she said, once you fuck me, I'm your girlfriend. (laughs) (laughs) She said, I don't take I don't do relationships very well. (laughs) She she is funny though. And she dope. She right up to the she right to the point. She keep it real. And uh Cheryl Cheryl Underwood. Uh she actually follows me on Twitter. I followed her, she followed me right back. So I like that about her. Cause you know, I always focus on that character. That's cool. That's yeah. that says like she's really mm-hmm. on her Twitter, like that. And well, a lot X of people, now, right, right, called. yep. And then she's Elon. Word to Elon. <laughs> I don't know. If she's a superstar, but she is known. A lot of people do know her, but I think she's kind of the one. She kind of stay away from the drama. You know, I'll never hear her name in no drama. Right, Melissa McCarthy's fun. Oh yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Uh, what's it? Amy Schumer? Yep, she's I remember you mentioned her hilarious. last time. Yep, yep. Uh, Sarah Silverman. I think I mentioned her in the last one too. If you got any short clips, put it on the mic. Cause I don't know if I can. I don't, I don't think I can play any. Hi guys, welcome to my dressing room. Oh no, no, no. This is Sheng Wei. I mean, funny clips. No, that just auto played. Oh, oh okay. Damn. Uh, I don't think I don't know if we can play that. With, cause it's like copyright. Okay, it? okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, we'd love to play. If I had some more of them little, like that P Diddy thing, I can know I can play them. Right. Like here, here's something. I'm pretty sure. You gotta I, put it up close to the mic, though. I will. I will. Oh, okay. Let me uh find something. Who are you thinking? Who would you have in mind? I, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you hear what Charles and White well, said. Well, well. Oh, go ahead. I'm gonna play this uh this skit from Charleston White. You know that thing they had where they stand there and they ask Charleston White questions. Yeah. Did you see the one where he had the big heavy set girl? Oh yeah, yeah. That's, Listen to what he told her. Yeah. Here, he, I'm gonna play it now. All right, hold on. Here we go, y'all. We just I just wanted to play this little skit from Charleston White. Why not turn the phone up? Hold on, go back. Okay, here we go. All right, brothers and sisters, we're going to speak on perseverance, too, a little bit. We're going to hit on that because that's important, too. We're going to touch on what uh, Aaron and I have in store for the future. Perseverance is involved in Mr. That. White, what would be the first meal that you would feed me? Salad. <laughs> Y'all should have seen her face. <laughs> He was at, that was Charleston White. He, the, the, the girl, there's some show they do. I'm sure everybody know about it. She was heavy set. And she said, what was the first thing you feed me? You took me out to eat. And he said, a salad. <laughs> she, and she is, she's pretty big, as you can see. Dang. Yeah. Oh, that's that, uh, I think that. What is it called? I think that girl is also a streamer, dude, too. And she was like on an airport. Oh. Uh, not in an airport, on an airport. In an in, in airplane. And she was, like, walking, and, like, people were, like, roasting her or some shit. She was making a video mm. about, like, mm. two chairs not being big enough or some shit. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. It, it been, that might have been someone else, though. I don't know if it exactly uh, I'm pretty sure it was, though. All right. Let me see. That was the some of the females but that I had. It was crazy. In the comments, the comments were going crazy, dude. 
Wow. I put Bill, I got Bill Bellamy on here, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker. I already talked about my Uncle Terry. He's on here. All my family. Uh, we got Lil Duvall. You know who Lil Duvall is? The little short dude. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he said he stepped in a white people's barbershop and said, hey, y'all, y'all braid hair? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's hilarious. funny. Uh, Jack Funny 313 is a brother that's here on yeah. that's on YouTube that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's funny <laughs> as fuck, dude. Uh, you know, all right, the way it. he be looking at my fucking shit, yeah, too, bro. yeah. When he's telling his jokes <laughs> and talking his shit, it's so yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, dude. and I, you know, I got Bernie Mac on here. You know, rest in peace and in power. Like, I, how do, how the fuck is he passively just hilarious, bro? Like, I, he I, just I, knows how to like channel yep, that energy yep. right to his face and even in his eyes with that look. He knows right, it's yep, exactly what makes people laugh. He know how to get to that core cool and make you laugh. Right. Like. See, <laughs> yep. Then under under Bernie Mac, rest in peace and in power. I got Lance Skur. He can be funny, and cause I can be listening. He can be talking about deep, about some deep one minute and say something off the wall. But like, man, it's crazy. That's hilarious. You know how many times? Oh yeah, dude. He he has. You know how many times I've been listening to him and he'll say something just it just go off the left. He's like, he 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 doesn't have a filter. That's one right, thing I right, respect about right. him, though. You know, he's just keeping it a hundred. And he so. done told some wild. I know we said Ali Sadi has some good stories. Lance, yeah, yeah. I didn't heard some wild ass stories from Lance. Funny and some kind of dramatic. Some maybe kind of sad. Yeah, he, he's a great storyteller and can be very funny. I've heard, like I said, I've heard him do uh, Muhammad Ali, and uh, who else he do? Mike Tyson. <laughs> I've heard him do them, and he can do other voices too. I've heard. I like to hear him when he do, because uh, he in Africa, so he do a lot of uh, Ghana voices and, you know, African people's voices, too. Yeah. Like he said, he had somebody, because he had weird, when you in, like, his position, you come across a lot of weird-ass people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he he's come across, and everything that happens, oh, he's... Yeah, he, definitely, ugh, yeah, and everything that happens, he, everything that happen, he speaks on it. He talks about it. He said, he be like, man, y'all just don't know the stuff I be dealing with. Sometimes he'll bring it up. Some stuff he'll keep under his chest. He won't. But some things, I guess, to get to, he has to talk about it. But yeah, he had people talking about, you know, calling him up. I need money. <laughs> I need money. <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? What do you want? I need money. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah, type of shit like that. But people think because you have this platform and you have these people riding with you, they just assume you have all this money. You know Margaret. what I'm saying? Yeah, so. I got I got another one, Margaret Cho. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. You mentioned her. That's now is she Asian? Yeah, or, okay. she was the first okay. Asian American woman to uh, mm. have her own primetime sitcom. So she yeah, she is funny. Paving the way. She is funny. She is funny. So salute yeah. to Lance Curve too, by the way. Shout out. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who who else you got? I'm gonna have to watch her too. I'm glad you're coming up with some of these names so I can start watching some different comedians. Right, you know yeah. I got you. Uh, Kareem Bliss, which has a platform, which that's the guy we said be saying grippers. <laughs> Kareem uh, Bliss Johnson, which is a very deep brother, and he's not a comedian, but he can be funny. And I put him on there because that word gripper is just funny to me. But a uh, very good brother, uh, giving a lot to the community. As I said, he's an advocate for, um, uh, 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 damn, what does he do? He helped people with domestic violence, stuff like that. He's... He's deep into that. He try to help people in relationships. So salute to Cream Bliss Johnson and uh, Doggy Diamond. You ever heard of Dirk and Doggy Diamond? Yeah. That's his comrade. They used to do shows together. He's so. He's Doggy legend. Diamond can be funny too. Yeah. And he raw. Legend. He raw. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and he's had a lot to do with the hip hop culture. He's interview interview a lot of major artists, a lot of them, and he actually was one of the first ones to start doing podcasts and interviewing. People don't know that though. Doggy Diamond, he was like, like really, literally one of the first ones to start doing interviews. He used to do them on DVDs before we even got YouTube. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I and mean, yeah. and I, I used to always wonder. I said, why, why, how he come up with that name, Doggy Diamond? When you hear him speak, that's how you know. And he'll tell you, cause I drop, I drop jewels. <laughs> so and then he do, he, he drops some jewels. He don't get no fuck. Of course, I got, uh, we talked about Ali Sadiq, but of course, he's on the list. And uh, Cat Williams and Eddie Griffin. Those are the last of the brothers, I think, on that side. Then I got Bill Cosby, LeVar Walker, which is a brother that has a YouTube 
channel has a platform. He's on one of those underrated comedians. Very funny though. He said something interesting yesterday, and that's where I got uh we gotta stop putting people in high statuses, stop giving them passes. He was speaking on that. It seems like the law is kind of starting to do that. What give give people passes? No. What like not give people passes? Oh yeah yeah like yeah. Celebrities yeah. and shit. Yeah. Cause um what 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 do we say that that you said you said on one of these podcasts that people are starting to wake up. Remember you said yeah, you said that. Yeah, a lot on, more people. I mentioned that this sure. morning. You said that. Yeah. A lot more. You can tell. You can feel mm, it. People are not dumb anymore. Yeah. I swear to God, bro. Yep. We yep. are all waking up to the fucking matrix of the eyes mm-hmm. of the fucking world. And I watched that and a couple of days ago, so, twice. You know how all we, it's inevitable that we figure it all out as mm-hmm. the way as existence as we know it and mm-hmm. life as we know it and simply and you know beyond that I'm gonna yeah. keep existing again. We know that, like you know what I'm saying. It's there's an infinite amount of possibilities and an infinite so that means there's an infinite amount of universes because mm-hmm. there's an infinite amount of ways I can do any given thing and there's also within that an infinite amount of ways that the mechanics of the things I'm doing mm-hmm. can do and I can do with you know what I'm saying like and it's all and it keeps going infinitely inward and outward and we have we've had people throughout history that have shown us that we can go outside this body and and how vast the universe is so i always like to say exactly none of us know how vast or huge the universe is we can only estimate and right and uh, based on what we've already experienced estimate and uh what else what what did i say this morning estimate and uh and i mean you know and what we think right right yep uh, oh, oh, here, I got another one. Chelsea Peretti, she's hilarious. Spectate. That's why I say estimate and spectate. Chelsea Peretti, she was on... Uh, she's got to be... she Latino or something? No, she's white. I think Italian, oh, okay. like, or New York. Oh, Italian. I say it's your like, name again. Chelsea Peretti. Mm, pretty funny. She's hilarious. Mm. She was on uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which okay. is hilarious. She has a stand-up special. Mm-hmm. Which uh, has a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a really popular mm. website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, all this has to do with perseverance too, brothers and sisters. I think perseverance ties into everything. Whether it's right. comedy, whether you enjoy life or not doing life, perseverance, man. And speaking uh, on women too, like yeah, you know, women when, didn't have rights. You right? You know, until relatively recently, right? Yep. In the, you know, in the fucking, uh, excuse my language, in the, you know, in the timeline of, of life as we know it. Yeah. I know that that feminine movement kind of messed up some of these women because they, they still on here having meltdowns and Because I think it's a lot of them, it's a cry for help. A lot of them are just hurt and expressing their hurt the, in the only way they know how. Yeah. And it's, of course, you know, it's unfortunate, but like, you know, it's had... But everything has negative consequences as well as positive consequences. You're right. You're right. So, you know, it's ups and downs. Yeah. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to keep on. See, why are you looking at your list? I'm going to look at mine. <laughs> All right. I said, did I say Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby, <laughs> LeVar Walker, Desi Banks, I did mention. And uh, you got to check out Desi Banks. I know you probably ain't too familiar with him. But he, he's pretty popular on YouTube. Oh, funny. Desi Banks is hilarious. Oh, okay, I know yeah. Who Desi Banks yeah. Is. So, so have you seen the Family Banks dinner? Have you seen that one? You have to watch that one. It's funny. I'm not sure. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of like the scene in Eddie Murphy, the clumps, the dinner scene. It's yeah. kind of like that. He emulated it a little bit. He funny though, and that leads me into Shaler King. Uh, it's another brother that's on YouTube that's funny. He's very funny. He do stand up specials too. Shuller, Shuller King. I always say I can't never say his name right, but I know it's S H U L E R King. Shuller King, very funny. Uh, Red Fox, rest in peace and in power. See, I had Eddie Griffin on here again. Sinbad, rest in peace and in power. I still watch Sinbad specials to this day. See George Carlin, and uh, we spoke on Bill Burr, and the good old Mike Epps. You know, I had to get Mike Epps on there. Mike yeah, F be saying some real shit too yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah he be it's saying some real shit. Corporate's a good uh, content creator. Yeah, yeah. And my one of my favorite jokes from Mike Epps is when he said, uh, "The grandmothers of this generation ain't gonna be like our grandmothers." 
he said, because our grandmothers listened to, uh, I forgot what kind of music he said, but you know, the old school music or whatever. He said, but this generation grandmothers listen to Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> he said, these grandmothers ain't going to be like ours. He goes, said, boy, back in the day, I was twerking like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just want thinking of some more uh, comedians. Yeah, and uh, content creators. Oh. Well, that was a few I had. I know I like, uh, I would I would say Lance Skur, Brother Kwaku, uh, Cream Bliss, Johnson. But most, some of these, a lot of the people I named are content creators, though. Yeah. Uh, Doggy um, Diamonds I named. Let me see, some females I know. Was I'm his, trying to think of, like, I know it's a female name, uh, Spiritual Batty. I like her. She's a great content creator. Uh, Word. I know, like, oh, Black Boma from, like, Facebook mm. is a good one. Um, Victoria. I'm trying to think of the names of the some of the, like, bigger Instagram and Facebook mm. um, ones, but I can't. Victoria Cooper. She's another one. That's a good speaker. That's mm. a good content creator. Yep, those are some of the names I had. <laughs> Um, you know what? Hold on, give me a minute. Or no, I don't know. Well, what do you think? Actually, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't want to leave out like any cool um female content. Yep, yeah, we. I named all the names. Mike Epps. I wonder if he got any new specials. I still watch him from time to time too. I still Who? watch a barbershop. Uh, oh, Mike, that was Mike hilarious. Epps. I watched it. I, I like the. Uh, I actually like. I watched the first one a lot. I like the first one he made. I like all of them, but I don't know something about the first one. Yep, perseverance. So what's 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 next from here, from this moment on, son? We so we talked about comedy. We we named some names. We can still name some more if you want. Well, this this part two of perseverance, and I already read what it was last time, so we know what persevering means. Keep going. Through any obstacle, any adversity, no matter what. It all ties into comedy too. And I always say don't forget to laugh, y'all. And have fun, you know? And just just talk like we doing now. We just chilling, you know? Having a conversation. So what's 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 next, Lord Lamont? Um, what's next on the menu in this this menu of life? To move forward no matter what, um, you know, and to remember that you know god's got us and mm-hmm. god's always watching over us all yeah yeah and to you know do my best to do good i'm not gonna get into specifics and right. things like that because that's like personal um uh you know and yeah perseverance everything that doesn't break you right makes you right like you know and that sounds corny but like every, so true. every everything that you go through like there's a lesson and a reason for oh it, yeah so. kind of something i said this morning i said don't don't look at things sometimes when we finally got our mind right and we you know somewhat stable in our mind things become lessons it's not, it ain't as traumatic anymore it's like okay what can i learn from this you know unless it hurt us physically and we have to i always say every brother or sister man or woman have a right to defend themselves but if nothing is affecting us physically, see why we went to that certain that situation or why a certain individual behaves a certain way. That's what I do now. I learn. Right, from you got to go right to I the leave room. it, right, like a toxic person, place, or thing. Right. I don't stay with it, but I learn from it. I'm exactly. like, okay, why did that happen? You right. know what I'm saying? Exa- so, absolutely, I know what you're saying. That's what I do now, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got to analyze Still it understand it, shit. yeah, yeah. Because we, we have the capacity to understand yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Even though you have to take yourself Everyone out of the does. situation. Right, you understand it. Cause, Facts. And you know why I've learned to understand individuals or situations? Because I've been through shit. That's why I'm able to understand somebody else. I understand why they're, they're but everybody has to do their, you know, you can't, you know, you have to help yourself. You know, right, but, we're all going through some type yeah. of internal yeah. con- combustion or, or change been through it. And, yeah. and, you know, creation, yeah. evolution, and and you know in our in our souls and ourselves and in yeah. the fires of our being you know mm-hmm. and it's love it's compassion yeah. understanding and, and, a, and a need 
and a desire and a want to take care of ourselves right. and the ones that we love. Mm -hmm. That's something I found out sometimes when we're going through a traumatic thing or situation. Later on down the road, we laugh at it. You know, if it wasn't too bad, you would like, wow, I can't believe I did. That was stupid. We, ah, 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 we laughing at it. Because I mean, I've, I've had friends I've gotten to it with in the past. We think about that shit now like, wow, I can't. We, right. we was fighting over that. That's what, but we was young. You know, yeah. we think about it now. That shit was stupid, crazy. I did so much dumb shit when I was young. We all, we all, you know, <laughs> did. It's part of Man, life. the shit we used to do. Yeah. Yeah, Let's go I, I on top. Yeah, I've done some crazy shit. It was Man. Wild hooligan ass shit. And what's funny is we all was dumb Hooligan together. Shit. Yeah, we all was dumb together. Right. Like, same with my childhood friends. Bro. Right. The like, shit that we, we were some straight up, like, little gangsters, bro. We would run into the gas station and one of us would distract the fucking cashier. The other would fucking play backup to keep the cashier or anyone else wow. distracted and then the third one would fucking crawl behind him with a backpack and grab the nearest fucking carton that he could from the bottom like or wherever it was if it was at the top you know yeah. just like barely yeah. enough and quick as fuck and throw it in the backpack he, a couple of we got good at that shit you wow. feel me? Bottles, too, bro. So, how, how many times did it take before y'all get caught? What, for the gang was we all busted never, up? Y'all never, never got caught? We never got caught for that shit, but... Something happened, damn I it. caught some charges. I caught a charge for weed oh. a couple of times as a minor. Oh. I got sent to, like, juvie. Oh. We all got sent away to I duh. at one point. Yeah, yeah duh. We did. We did. I think they were the first <laughs> two, and then I went... I was the third. And what we had a podcast. You remember what the title of it was? Life is like a full circle. Well, yeah, I kind of changed it up a little bit. I, that was that uh, throwback. I redid it. Nice. Some of our podcasts, I be, I told you I bring them back up. I redo them, and yeah. I bring it back up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I got a couple of stories. The dumb shit we used to do. One, we used to go on top of the damn building and throw rocks at cars. Oh, yeah. Cop cars and all. We used to put rocks on fucking train tracks. Big ass rocks, bro. Damn. <laughs> that was fucking dangerous. <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding you. Damn. I told you we did some hood little ass shit. Y'all <laughs> trying to derail trains and shit. What the hell? Then I tell you, let me tell you the, the, what happened with us throwing these damn. That is crazy, though. Y'all trying to derail whole fucking trains and shit. Y'all trying to cause a, tra a tra what catastrophe. Fuck? What were we thinking, dude? Y'all would fuck up a whole railroad Why system and we shit. Thank God it never happened. Wow. Bro. We couldn't wow. get no big enough fucking. <laughs> wow. Big ass boulder. Put that motherfucker on the rail. Oh, excuse me, y'all, for cussing. <laughs> Let me tell you what. We could. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened when we uh after we threw these damn rocks. Okay, this is how we got our payback. We threw these rocks at these cars. Tink 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 tearing these cars up. This one motherfucking truck wasn't having it. We hit the truck. We heard them. No. So we got scared and we stopped and it, it got quiet. So we all it was four of us. I'll never forget. We all came down because one of my guys <laughs> stayed in the building, but his mom used to always work late at night. So we come down off the roof, went through the little hallway, went on outside. We looking around and nothing going on. It was quiet. Man, we walked in the back of this building. Dude flicked on them lights. <laughs> it was like Christina, the movie. Man, one dude, man, this is how you know the human body can do some shit when it's scared. One dude cleared the hood. He jumped the whole fucking hood. Man, dude, you motherfuckers hit my truck. Man, he was chasing after us. Damn, they hit one of my guys. Man, that was the scariest, man. We was done. We're like, all right, man, I'm good. Everybody went home. We was done that night. I mean, we can that hear motherfucker might have killed y'all. We heard we could hear him in the you. distance. I'm going to kill you, oh motherfucker. God. We didn't do that shit no more. We, that was the end of that night. All right, bro, I'm good. See you at school yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my this is a school God. night. Damn, nigga. <laughs> we never did that shit again. Right. No, we yeah, were just no. we were just woo, just walking everything <laughs> good. We walked in the back of that building and dude was just sitting there. It was an all black truck pickup, four <laughs> pickup truck with two doors. No. I never forget it. 
Man, he was so smooth, how he did it. I don't know he how he knew where we was. He and was he just smoking. waited. It was a black dude, too. He just waited. And we were just cool, just talking. about what you going to do at school? Oh, shit. <laughs> man, click them lights on like Christina the movie. Yeah, so that was, yeah. I think about it now. It's funny. them lights on like a father or parent. My dude. When you try my, to sneak back home. Yeah, my dude Clayton Barbie. There. He cleared the. I bet if I were. I'm going to talk to him sometimes. See if he remember that. He cleared the hood. He said, fuck this shit and jumped it and if took he, off. If he wouldn't have, he would have hit him. He would have hit him. He would have rumbled on the truck. He would have hit him. Yeah. Oh, my God. And Clayton was tall. Had long he legs. Yeah, fucking hell yeah, nigga. He, he said, fuck it was, that shit. Yep. Bing, he, and it was the timing Mario of it. Mario high jump, It was nigga, the timing yeah. of it, yeah. Hell yeah, because that adrenaline, nigga, he wasn't missing yep. that for real. Yep. Fucking God got yep. him at that, but he, he might as well have been doing the motherfucking yeah. Michael Jordan fucking thing. Yep. Cause, oh. cause he was going so fast. That's why the momentum of it. That's why he was able to jump it. But oh, if he was to yeah. slow down or stop a little bit, he would have hit him. He would have hit him. But he was so right. He went straight gravity. through. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. He hit yeah. that shit and the slipstream from the wind. Yeah. Fucking helped him. Gave him a fucking boost. Yeah. He know. He knew what the fuck he was doing in that yep. moment. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just one of many. Yeah. You got any other? crazy stories uh yeah so that that's why I, that's what helped us persevere mm-hmm. think about things like that you know a lot of us have done stupid things in our lives we and, used to yeah. we used to we made molotovs we what's that what's that a molotov cocktail it's oh like, like a, the, the the flame thing yeah. with the flame on the bottle yeah and a oh, bunch of alcohol damn. Or, and y'all gas. was fucking dangerous <laughs> yeah nigga Shit. we made anarchy A's. <laughs> damn Y'all went beyond. That wasn't <laughs> funny. That was fucking dangerous. <laughs> God damn. I mean, excuse me, y'all. I don't even we do all this cussing. We were skater kids. Jeez. <laughs> we were skater kids. You mm. know, thrashing. Right, right. Y'all you needed know. a damn job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wanna. I know I played this before. <laughs> just to kind of <laughs> keep the little funny momentum going. And uh, I think we did kind of touch on. You think we pretty much touched on <laughs> persevering and overcome an obstacle i guess those yeah, are all you know, laughter is the those are all medicine. the things that we overcame shout right shout out to all the great uh, shout out to all the ladies and all the great content creators. yeah brothers and sisters those who just had wild stories yeah, man. Brothers and sisters, yeah you know, that we, we still here today to the, yeah to the ladies be thankful that we allowed today that we can laugh at you know things that we crazy things we done when we was young but i, I want to play this i know we heard this already but i'm going to play this clip again just to have some I gotta play it a little short. This, this, okay. I know we heard it, but I wanna play it again. Hold on. Here we go, y'all. Clip from Y'all Know Who. Ooh, hold on. I ain't have it turned up. Man, I hate when I do that. All right, hold on, y'all. Lord Lamont EBS Cares. Comedy. Perseverance. Learn it, have it, know it. Oh, yeah. This P. Diddy, I've been y'all. waiting on your little pretty ass. Little chocolatey ass. <laughs> what your name is right now, bad boy? Love. No, you didn't. Well, <laughs> we about to make love. And then we gonna change your name back to Diddy. Because then we gonna Diddy. Then we gonna change your name back to Puffy. Because that's what you gonna be when we done Diddy. I like that. Hold on. With you, you supposed to like it. You said I, like, I like what you're talking about. I don't like it if you I like ain't scrambling and scraping. I ain't. That's, that's a lot. I, I like that. I like you. Guard? I ain't locked in here with you, Playboy. You, you locked in here with me. I ain't no daddy, bro. I grab that baby while I'm over here. Lather up. Lather up. Thought I told you that we won't stop. Thought I told you that we won't stop. Hold on, bro. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. I just, had, I just wanted to play that. <laughs> hey, hold on, bro. <laughs> right. Hey. No diddy, bro. He really was dead ass about that shit. He said, hold on, bro. Guard? Huh? Guard? That's the part you like. <laughs> yeah, he just guard. Yeah. Well, y'all, we're going to sign out. We've been talking for a minute. Yeah, we just we just want to speak a little bit, you know, like we always do. Just wanted to conversate. And I think we touched on a little bit of persevering. And uh, we did touch on some comedians and a uh, salute. So all the comedians we named. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. content creators. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, just do whatever we can and stay stable in this life, you know. Just 
Love work, you, man. God bless. Be as right as we possibly can. And then the deep spiritual stuff will come, you know. But we got to have them, those human errors ironed out. Right, Lord Lamont? Absolutely. Best way we can. Pops. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get ready to sign up out of here and uh, keep on persevering. Current subscriber, new subscriber, anybody that view. And, uh, you know, stay strong in this life. Keep, re you know, keep researching, keep learning, keep looking to explore. You know, brother, sister, family, general, brothers and sisters all over the world. Please keep that ultimate peace in your part of the world. Give them something powerful before we get on out of here. Lord Lamont, something Stand strong and, you know, you know, keep your head up and keep going. That's right. That's right. That's all brothers and sisters all over the world, family, younger or older. May we all keep that ultimate peace in your part of the world, wherever you are. Right now, and keep persevering. And don't forget to laugh, my generals. Salute. Mm -hmm.